Hi, my name is Erica Stewart. I'm a third generation rancher from Moore, Saskatchewan. Welcome back to our video series, A Day in the Life of Pine Ranch. This is our setup for rolling corn. The corn is getting dumped out of the back of the truck hole, like how we got it from the elevator. And it's being dumped into the auger, which is augering it into the roller. And then the roller is gonna roll it, so crush it, so it's more available to the cows. Once the corn has been rolled, um, it's then dumped into another auger and augered into our bin where it'll be stored all winter. And that's where we'll get the corn to dump in the mixer to feed the cows. So here's a before and after. On the left is the whole corn, which is how we got it from the elevator. And then on the right is after it goes through our roller. So we're just crushing that and making it more digestible for the cows to eat. Feed's expensive this year, so we wanna try and make sure uh, they can get as much from the feed as they can. And that's why rolling it helps. So it breaks it apart and it allows more surface area for the bacteria to to break it down in the cow's rumen. We decided to try it this year uh, because we didn't make as much silage. So usually our winter ration is comprised of mostly silage, but this year because of the drought, we didn't make that much. So we ended up having to buy a lot of other commodities like hay and straw. So our ration is mostly hay and straw. So that that takes a lot for our mixer to break it down, like when you put in half a bale or, or a whole bale in there. So it's if we get the grinder in, it's less wear and tear on our equipment. And making those forages, like those pieces of dried grass from the hay or straw, um, making them smaller makes it easier to digest for the animal. So just making that feed that we do have more efficient. So my dad's in the tractor uh, forwarding hay bales and straw bales to the grinder. Kyle's taken off the net wrap and then the grinder can grab parts of the bale or the whole bale, put it in and it um, chews it up and then puts it out the conveyor into that big pile. We had never done this before this year. So we had him in this fall and he chopped about that uh, 250 bales the first time and I was totally worried. I thought this would just all blow away in the Saskatchewan wind. My husband assured me that if we got a frost, it would kind of get a crust on it and stay still. And not gonna lie, we had a bit of a marital dispute about it, <laughs> but turns out he was right as usual. And yeah, it stayed really well. It got that crust on it and yeah, it didn't hardly blow away. So we're, we're doing it again. So this is the finished pile of chopped hay and straw. So he chopped about 250 bales today. Thanks for joining us today on Pine Ranch as we minimized our feed to maximize its efficiency. And I hope you can join us for another video.